Oh, hi. Welcome to Channel Uncensored. I'm your host, Chris Chappell. Now, I'm never wrong, but when I am wrong, I'm man enough to admit it. Out loud, even. That's why I would like to apologize for making fun of the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference earlier this year for being worried about not being able to produce a hit TV show like the epic Korean drama My Love from the Stars. Yes, at the time I mocked the CPPCC for what I thought was excessive hand-wringing over a minor problem. But I was wrong, because I have now seen what's state-mandated as must-see TV in China. And I now understand why Chinese authorities took away all your episodes of Big Bang Theory. It was too entertaining for Chinese TV. I realized this after watching, and totally not falling asleep for, the latest big drama that was shown on state-run CCTV last month called Deng Xiaoping at History's Crossroads. The 48-episode TV series dramatizes the life of the former paramount leader of China, Deng Xiaoping, starting in 1976, the year that Chairman Mao died, and ending in 1984, in the middle of Deng's economic reforms. Why did it end in 1984? According to the head writer of the series, because after 1984 would be too hard to write. Gee, I wonder what he could be referring to. The TV series was timed to coincide with the 110th anniversary of Deng Xiaoping's birth. Reports say it took five years to make and was heavily revised in the process. It was produced by CCTV and 10,000 copies were sent to be vetted by censors and other stakeholders before broadcast. It even premiered at the Great Hall of People in Tiananmen Square, and party officials were instructed to organize viewing parties and discussion sessions for the series. Game of Thrones viewing parties, on the other hand, remains unofficial. I mean, that's essentially day-to-day -day political life in China anyway. So what does an officially vetted official dramatization of a former top official look like? Wait a minute. Inspirational, swelling orchestral music? Sepia-colored emotional patriotic images interspersed with even more emotional shots of the main characters? Did CCTV just rip off Aaron Sorkin? Wow. By the way, Sorkin, where's my season three of Newsroom? I need to know what happens with Maggie and Jim. Anyway, the Deng Xiaoping drama series has raised eyebrows, not so much for looking like a Shanjai Aaron Sorkin series, but for its timing and subject matter. For one, it dares to show recent history. Sure, 1976 was almost 40 years ago, but that's recent for the Communist Party. You see, most propaganda dramas tend to focus on the time before the Communist Party took control of the country in 1949, back when they could portray themselves as the scrappy underdog. Post-1949, well, let's just say there are a few events involving the deaths of tens of millions of people that the party censors feel wouldn't make good TV. The Dung TV series also made headlines for showing certain historical figures who were later purged by the party, including reformer Hu Yaobang, whose death sparked the 1989 Tiananmen Square protest. And for its own special interpretation of history, like claiming that Mao ordered the takedown of the Gang of Four before he died. But the most interesting part of this primetime propaganda is what it shows about current Chinese leader Xi Jinping's own ambitions. In the series, Deng Xiaoping is elevated to the level of Mao, shown as a visionary who knew exactly what he was doing as he led China through a period of reform. Of course, that's not actually true, but showing Deng that way is key for Xi Jinping, who has been using Deng Xiaoping as a model since the beginning of his rule. One of the first things she did was make a highly symbolic trip south that echoed Deng Xiaoping's famous southern tour. In a speech last month, he called Deng a figure of greatness. By celebrating and emphasizing specific parts of Deng's legacy, Xi Jinping is hinting at what he wants his own legacy to be, a reformer who leaves his mark on China. He's also simultaneously striking another blow at former leader Jiang Zemin, the guy he's locked in a power struggle with. By praising Deng and Mao, she is shoving aside Jiang's legacy. If everything goes Xi's way, Deng Xiaoping at history's crossroads could one day have a sequel. But whether she can consolidate power and what he'll do with that power is still a question. But it's clear that she sees himself, like Deng, as a man of vision. 
What do you think of all the dung drama? Leave your comments below, and thanks for watching China Uncensored. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more.